No my heart of mine, welcome to this first series of the Pattern Reader, created for you by Rangi Mari. Uh, um, how this mahi has began, this work began, was directly from the community. I was a stay home mama, and I turned to the ancient uh, Maori arts and crafts of my ancestors, uh, which was Maori clake making, based upon, founded upon my whakapapa to the lines of the Arawa people, the Arawa Waka. Uh, through both parents' lines and out to other tribal affiliated areas. Uh, this these use of patterns and cloak making is now developing to read the patterns of our history, or there lies the truth, uh, under the gift of interpretation to bring an interpretation of our history of patternings. Thank you. Tēnā koe no mai haramai and welcome to uh, Interpreting Te of Waitangi, number two. So continuing on from our last uh, series of talks, how we have been colonised through the assertion of an authority. Uh, that authority is divided into three categories. The first category, the religious authorities, because the missionaries were those used first to approach Māori. The second authority is the intellectual authorities. And the third authority is the uniformed military authorities who were to take the instructions from the other two authorities. We're now living in the Millennium Age. This people has not changed. This is what we need to change. I want to talk to you next about how we have lost our rights to speak. That's how they got us. We lost our rights to speak and how they did it was introducing courts cases. Court cases uh, and, and the introducing of a courthouse where the judge has all the say when you and it hasn't changed today when you enter into a courtroom and a courthouse you are not to speak. So they got us in that first instance of stealing, I could say, uh, thieving our rights to speak as a people. Uh, when you attend their schools, the state schools especially, New Zealand schools, how they got us there is we're not, uh, the children have been silenced through state school uh, every day, day to day, subjection, you're not allowed to speak, only the teacher is allowed to speak, or the principal. This sick, sick, adult behavior uh, when you go to a church the only one who does all the talking is listen to the front uh, to the preacher or pastor or whatever they call themselves today because they're always right so we've lost our rights to speak it's happening big time out in the community people uh, especially in letters to the editor in, in newspapers they've uh, replaced the letters to the editor from the pe local people stopping the local people from speaking by replacing all the letters to, uh, to the editor with their own people giving their opinions so we have lost our right Hi, so we're continuing on with interpreting Te Riti o Waitangi, part two, uh, and how we've been asserted over, and it's the assertion of the religious, intellectual, uh, and the uniformed authorities asserted over us in colonising patternings and colonising authorities. And it's through the court establishment that we have lost our rights to speak under intellectual thinking of arrogance. Therefore, it's through the court system that we're going to see uh, the assertion of an authority uh, being the first Māori judge raised up to operate under the scales of justice, sworn under the scales of justice to judge and to reassert our rights to speak. This people will bring about the radical change that our indigenous people have long been waiting for the assertion of an authority and uh, currently judges and lawyers in New Zealand are sworn under a coat of arms symbol. Uh, it's after Te Riti Waitangi was asserted they introduced the coat of arms symbol which is the rights of the courts. So 
we're continuing on to talk about the raising up of a judge uh, sworn under the scales of justice uh, also a judge of the Araki ranking lines uh, of the Araki ranking lines of the uh, Tohunga line Tohunga which is a judges and a priests line together a genealogy line, whakapapa line of Araki ranking line it was these rhymes that originally developed to become the Māori queens and Māori kings in our history way back pre-colonisation and it's this very line too that we may see also in this very um, situation the first Māori queen for Aotearoa New Zealand as which I question was Tūranga Waiwai. Has Tūranga Waiwai been a practice run for something far greater? And that is the first Māori Queen to be introduced for Aotearoa. She'll hold the scales of justice to judge. She will replace Elizabeth of England, who never, never resided here. And she... Okay, we're continuing with the uh, interpreting of Piritia Waitangi part 2 uh, those three categories that we talked about the assertion of the religious authorities and there is a long list of the early churches we're in the millennium age now so those old churches um, have uh, changed or they're still there but now we've got all these new churches and all these new false religions are there again. but they're all the same a pyramid of churches, the Pyramid Society, uh, which introduced its pyramid form of churches with one person or two people at the top in charge. We've got our second category of the intellectual authority. Now, we when we talk about the intellectual, we're talking about the introductions of uh, universities. We're talking about the educational whole educational system from uh, pre and to, it used to be from primary school through to high school and then on to uni but now that it's even worse still people now they're going for our early our babies to teach from ba uh, this baby stage now right through to the adult stage under a sick sick uh, way of thinking the intellectual and you have to be trained to hold all jobs now certified to hold all jobs this is the control the lying the adult lying and control that's going on and our third authority of course the uniforms uh, military uniforms and history have changed now today they are the police people and if we do not conform if we do not submit and subject to this whole society pyramid society of rich middle and poor class there's a possibility that we targeted to be jailed. Now this is how sick the colonising thinkers think and are operating but when we introduced and assert the judge, a first Māori judge sworn in under the scales of justice to hold a set of scales of justice to judge Te Riti of Waitangi we're going to see a mighty closure of a whole era uh, when we give people a better understanding. Thank you.